All right, good afternoon, everyone. This is Steve at Spokane. Uh, welcome to the weekly weather briefing for Monday, July 31st, 2017, for Eastern Washington and North Idaho. So uh, after several few weeks of fairly clear skies around the region, uh, things are going to change as we switch to a more north-northeast wind here in the next 24 hours. Uh, that is going to mean intrusion of smoke into the inland northwest and coupled with hot temperatures. Late week and into the weekend, temperatures are going to be going from hot to very hot with some records heat possible, um, especially by the weekend. And then going into early next week, it looks like the warm temperatures are going to be here to stay. Um, and we will be seeing some moisture back into the region and maybe a chance for some thunderstorms. The winds forecast for tonight into Tuesday morning is going to be coming out of the north. The strongest winds will be down the Okanagan Valley, roughly 10 to 20 miles an hour, and some gusts to 25 indicated in the area outlined in red. Um, so what is that going to do? Well, you look at the satellite imagery, there is a lot of smoke up in British Columbia. It's already beginning to stream down the Okanagan Valley. Um, that is also going to bring some smoke probably from up in north of North Idaho, from several fires up into southeast BC. And over in western Montana, that smoke will begin to come back to the west. So looking for decreasing air quality tonight for the Okanagan Valley, Metow Valley, and possibly the western Columbia Basin. That includes Douglas and Grant Counties. This morning we saw at 8 a.m. fairly clear skies and the mountains in view. By 10 o'clock with the smoke moving in, visibilities drop down, air qualities have decreased. So what does that mean? Uh, well, we've seen values in the Metow Valley from the Diamond Creek fire this weekend um, in the run to 130 range. So that means unhealthy for sensitive groups. I imagine we're going to see a lot more locations uh, with those type of numbers and potentially even going into the unhealthy category. Smoke forecasting here in the uh, weather forecast office is not a slam dunk by any means. Uh, it's a lot of factors. We know which way the winds are going to blow, but we don't know exactly what the fire's activity is going to be doing and how much smoke will be coming out of it. So at this point, we're kind of monitoring and we'll be uh, coordinating potentially with our air quality folks. By Wednesday, winds become more north-northeast. Strongest winds that uh, day will be channeling through the Purcell Trench, locations like Sandpoint, Coeur d'Alene, and spilling out into the Columbia Basin. Again, speeds don't look damaging, uh, but we may see some sustained speeds generally in the 10 to 20 miles per hour range uh, in the areas outlined in red. And as mentioned, that will bring smoke from those area fires uh, towards the basin. So the combination of smoke coming in from all quadrants uh, does look like a pretty bad situation as far as wildfire smoke. And when you have easterly flow, it typically banks that into the east slopes and we'll see the least amount of wind. So this is the area that may have some of the worst air quality over the next few days. As we get to late week and even going into next work week, we are looking at some hot temperatures with temp uh, the thermometers rising into the upper 90s and 100s. Right now, confidence is pretty high for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But then things uh, get a little bit more challenging Sunday into early next week. The air mass definitely will support it, but we'll be adding other factors such as smoke and or cloud cover. Uh, here's a look at what the high temperatures look like right now for Friday, one of our warmest days of the week. Um, and then, I, as mentioned, some uncertainty as you get past that. But I imagine we're going to just see a few degrees uh, fluctuations from this um, over the course of those days. So what do those temperatures mean? Well, we have a kind of a new thing called the heat risk here. And what this does is try to classify heat impacts uh, into four, um, a scale using zero to four, uh, and with colors that are very similar to what we see in an air quality index or a UV index. Um, this does factor in climatology for the, how, what, how, long, uh, how often those temperatures are met. And it's kind of an approximate level of heat risk concern for any location, um, along with identifying the groups that are most at risk. So um, there's a pretty decent chance we'll have some highlights for heat uh, as we get later in the week. 
but right now this is the locations you know that are probably going to have the the most sensitivity as far as how warm we're indicating and one factor for this is how cool things will get at night and a lot of these locations here in the red and magenta will only be getting into the upper 60s to low 70s for overnight lows um, so we'll be also spreading a lot of messaging about heat safety uh, please if you could feel free to share that and continue to spread the word and if you're interested in whether or not we're going to be breaking records does not look like Thursday we'll hit it Friday is actually our one of our warmest days in history or at least for Spokane 1961 we hit 108 uh, but then as we get towards Saturday things will get much closer to those record values and the outlook for 8 to 14 day about the second week of August uh, suggests the warm conditions are likely going to stick around for the western US um, with kind of a, a lower signal for drier conditions especially as you get into North Idaho um, but nothing uh, real surprising at this point and with the eclipse coming up here in three weeks uh, please note we do have a page weather.gov eclipse that can, you can find more information about where the best eclipse will be the timing and then as we get closer to the event within a week we'll start to have a local uh, cloud forecast available for any location that you click on the map so with that um, thank you for joining us and we'll talk to you all next week Stay cool.